That salsa is what does it. Perfect flavor. Yep, you get a little bit of that sweet, a little bit of that heat in there. Boy, this tastes like summer. What's going on, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking. Finally feels like the grip that winter has on us up here in Fargo, North Dakota is finally letting go and fishing is right around the corner. And what does that mean, John? That means walleye. That means walleye. And I'm a fried fish, walleye kind of guy, but I brought in John here because he is gonna bring his own twist to a walleye recipe. Now don't get me wrong, I love fried walleye, but today we're gonna go over a recipe that I've used several times, it's turned out fantastic. It's gonna be a pineapple walleye done on the griddle. That is awesome. I'm, I let my figure get away from me maybe a little bit this winter, John, so I appreciate the healthy fish recipe. So for those of you that are getting ready to fish, you're gonna make sure you need to try this recipe. It's gonna be a good one. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get started on our walleye tacos. The first step, we're gonna take our beautiful walleye fillets and we're gonna cut them up. We're gonna cut them up so that they fit really nice on a tortilla, they're not hanging over, or you have to add a bunch of them to them. We're gonna take these fillets, Cut them into chunks, and you can cut them lengthwise as well if you would like. I just got them laid them out on a pan like so. So these are about the size that I like to use. Like I said, it'll fit really nice into the flour tortilla, and then we're gonna add our toppings. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the pineapple salsa. So we're just take some fresh pineapple here, and we're just gonna cube it up. And we're gonna start adding some of our vegetables. And once again, there's a, there's a lot of colors going into play here, so. As far as a, it's very appetizing to the eyes to see down there and to see that beautiful looking food on your plate. Okay, so after we added the lime, we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to blend that all together. Doesn't that look nice? Look at all those colors coming through. Okay, so that should be good. So there you go with that, guys. And like I said, we're gonna let this marinate for about 10 or 15 minutes. Just let those flavors merge together. If it goes longer, that's totally fine. But now that we've got that all going, we're gonna be ready to get the walleyes out onto the griddle. Okay, we're gonna get the walleye fillet seasoned up. I'm gonna get them nice and coated on both sides. We're gonna get our butter on the griddle. And I'll tell you this, Traeger Flat Rock that we're doing uh, tacos on for you today so far is so super impressive. The wind, if you can't hear it, is blowing pretty good out here and you know no worries whatsoever of a blowout. It's just it's just a champ so far. It's running right about anywhere between 375 to 400 degrees and usually at that temperature about four minutes aside and your fish will be ready to go. You want to get to that 145 degree internal temperature with fish just to make sure you're safe. Like I said, we're going to give it about three or four minutes and we're going to check it and flip them over. And when we go to flip, then we're going to add our flour tortillas as well. Give our walleyes a flip here. Starting to get that light brown coating to them that's what you want. But, you know, ideally we're looking for that 145 degree internal temperature. Spin them around, get that grease. So we're just going to let that go for a minute or two. All right, John. It smells like summer. Sure does. I just wish it felt like summer outside. <laughs> right. Like you said, you battled the wind out there with that thing. It took it right head on. Oh yeah, that thing, that, that flat rock was a beast and everything's looking delicious and I'm really excited to dig in. Start with two nice chunks of the filet on there. Kind of spread that down on both sides. I like a lot of it. And then the finishing touch, I'm gonna use, and I really suggest you try this, it's out of this world. This is a sriracha aioli. Just gonna go ahead and drizzle this over. Yeah, Terrapin Ridge, right? Or, By Terrapin Ridge, yeah. Yeah, they make some good products. We've been using a lot of them. They've been yeah. they've been tasty. All right, we got all these prepared, put together. Let's dig in, huh? Let's go. Good stuff. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. The fresh 
that salsa is what does it. It, it. it just the perfect flavor. Yep, you get a little bit of that sweet, a little bit of that heat in there. Boy, this tastes like summer. <laughs> yeah, and the extra work of doing the tortillas on, on the griddle, I mean, brilliant. That's that's the, the extra touch that this recipe needed. Keeps it all together. So if you guys are catching any fish this summer, I'm not gonna tell you don't fry your fish, but definitely give this recipe a try. Thanks, John, we appreciate it. Great recipe. Thank you.